Cougar foul, number 10, Sydney Freeman, her third, team six. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Expertise, resources, commitment. At Sullivan Financial, we offer a team approach to financial planning, offering you a broader scope of expertise than you will likely find in any one person. Clients are our main priority, which is why we work to understand your unique circumstances and ultimately create a distinctive plan that provides a roadmap for your financial journey. Located in Mitchell, Indiana, they can be reached at 812-849-2670. That's 812-849-2670. In 2012, the Washington County Community Foundation began working on its next big initiative, Education Matters. The goal of Education Matters is to increase the educational attainment of adults residing in our county. The initial focus has centered on adults with some college and no degree. With the assistance of scholarships and a peer mentoring program, the foundation began helping adults return to college to complete their degree or obtain a certification in 2013. Realizing that strength lies in numbers, Washington County partnered with Clark, Floyd, Harrison, and Scott counties to create Education Matters Southern Indiana. This initiative continues to build. United Producers Inc. We are the largest livestock marketing company in the world. We currently have 17 auction markets and 23 direct buying stations across Indiana, Kentucky, Ohio, Michigan, Tennessee, and Illinois. Our goal is to market your livestock to maximize your dollar while implementing animal safety procedures. To find your local market, visit our website at uproducers.com or contact Ryan Batt at 812-620-0769. Again, that is 812-620-0769. Farmer owned, farmer values.
Is your ride not as reliable as it used to be? Eddie Gilstraps is the place to go. With 80 years in the auto industry, we know how to get things done. At Eddie Gilstrap Motors, we have an unbeaten level of commitment to buyers. Unmatched customer service, a wide array of new and used inventory, and various financing options are just a few of the ways in which we serve our customers. Give us a call at 877-227-9421. That's 877-227-9421. Or just visit our website. Links Clothing and Shoes is proud to support West Washington Senator football and wish them a great season. Stop by and see us for all your school fan gear. We offer a wide variety of tees, hoodies, hats, and more. We also offer custom screen printing and embroidery for your team, business, or event. We are conveniently located on the north side of the Salem Square and have been serving our community for over 15 years. Our hours are Monday through Friday, 9 to 5.30, and on Saturdays, they're 9 to 3. Stop in or call us at 812-883-4154. That's 812-883-4154. Shop local and save. As your American Family Insurance agent, Michael Long can offer you dependable auto, home, business, and life insurance, as well as other insurance products. He's big enough to serve and small enough to care. His team and their unique backgrounds, trainings, and experiences have prepared them well to help meet your insurance needs. Additionally, as residents of your community, they understand how important it is to be there for you. Together, they are building strong partnerships that help everyone succeed. When it comes to your car insurance, you deserve more than a card tucked in your glove box. That's why American Family Car Insurance goes beyond a piece of paper or an app to give you smart, customized coverage and real peace of mind. No matter how your life changes, you can feel comfortable you will have the right auto insurance protection and support every step of the way. Not sure how much or what type of coverage is right for you? Michael Long is the person to talk to. If you talk and they will hear you. We all want our kids to grow up safe and healthy. So we show them how. And we tell them with honest conversations that let them know what we expect. Not just one time, but every chance we get. That's especially important when it comes to alcohol and other drugs. Kids not only need to know the dangers and how to avoid them, they need to hear it often from you. And when it comes to pain medications, opioids, they need to know that they should never be taken without a prescription and never shared with friends or family. It's dangerous and illegal. So talk with your kids and guide them through the challenges of growing up safe and healthy. Because when you talk, they hear you. For more information about talking with your kids about underage use of alcohol and other drugs, visit underagedrinking.samhsa.gov. So talk, they hear you. You can do it if you try. Are you looking for a great HVAC person that's also local? Somebody who's from here in Southern Indiana? Then look no further than Mike Music and Music Mechanical Services located in Paoli, Indiana. They offer a wide variety of services, including not only maintenance, but repairs on all of your heat and cooling needs. Got an ice maker on the fritz? They can help you with that. How about a commercial chiller or freezer? They've got your back. Is your boiler on the fritz? They can help you with that too. They even work on outdoor furnaces. Best of all, they're located right here in Paoli, Indiana. Give Mike a call at 812-498. 1736. Don't worry, Mike Music knows every aspect of the HVAC maintenance inside and out. Mike is a problem solver and can get all your equipment up and running like new, whether it's summer or winter. Then Mike is your guy. Music Mechanical Services, HVAC done right. Paley, Indiana. 812-498-1736. In 2012, the Washington County Community Foundation began working on its next big initiative, Education Matters. The goal of Education Matters is to increase the educational attainment of adults residing in our county. The initial focus has centered on adults with some college and no 
degree with the assistance of scholarships and a peer mentoring program the foundation began helping adults return to college to complete their degree or obtain a certification in 2013. Realizing that strength lies in numbers, Washington County partnered with Clark, Floyd, Harrison, and Scott counties to create Education Matters Southern Indiana. This initiative continues to build. United Producers, Inc. We are the largest livestock marketing company in the world. We currently have 17 auction markets and 23 direct buying stations across Indiana, Kentucky, Ohio, Michigan, Tennessee, and Illinois. Our goal is to market your livestock to maximize your dollar while implementing animal safety procedures. To find your local market, visit our website at uproducers.com or contact Ryan Bat at 812-620-0769. Farmer owned, farmer values. At Eddie Gilstrap, our customers are family. Rated in the top 6% nationwide in Ford dealers, we pride ourselves on our no-pressure environment, honesty, and integrity. Come see us today and discover why we're different. Eddie Gilstrap Motors. Lynx Clothing and Shoes carries a wide variety of items from name brand clothing and shoes to sports apparel and sporting goods. We offer custom screen printing and embroidery, free gift wrapping, alternations, and layaway. Our hours are Monday through Thursday, 9 to 5.30, Friday, 9 to 6, and Saturday, 9 to 5. We are conveniently located on the north side of the Salem Square. We are a family-owned and operated business. Stop by and see us today. 812-883-4154. Michael Long with American Family Insurance offers auto, home, business, farm, and life insurance, which includes motorcycles, boats, ATVs, UTVs, classic and antique autos, renters, manufactured homes, rentals, along with event coverage such as weddings, golf hole-in-ones, conferences, and much, much more. He's licensed in Indiana, Ohio, and Florida. For more information, look him up on Facebook to see insurance tips and to sign up for his agency giveaways. Michael Long, American Family Insurance, all your protection under one roof. Welcome everyone to tonight's broadcast of the West Washington Senator's Scrimmage with North, ha North Harrison. Um, it is a, a fresh night for everyone. We're trying to work out some of the bugs in our system along with the players out there on the field working out their bugs against somebody who's not from West Washington for the first time this year. Uh, tonight joined in my broadcast with um, Hunter Holiday will be joined by Dan Humer Jr. here in a little bit. He's got sound um, down on his end, so he's running the sound for the whole field. Scrimmage tonight, get to knock some of the rust off that you haven't got to do in practice. Um, Hunter, what are you thinking? You got about 10 seconds here. I think it's going to be really great out here tonight. We've got good weather. Uh, they already got the lights on, so I'm interested to see how these kids come out and it looks like we got a pretty good roster going. We only got uh, two kids out, so I'm interested to see all the talent out tonight. Well, with that being said, we're going to jump to our national anthem. We'll be back uh, after this short break. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our 
flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave. Welcome back to West Washington Livestream and WWSR. Like we said, this is the scrimmage here at West Washington with North Harrison coming. Um, this is an alternating year that um, it is hosted here at West Washington. Last year it was at North Harrison. Um, you know, North Harrison, not a team that we're going to see during the regular season, but usually a um, pretty big team up front. Hunter, you know, they've, they've got some, some big guys up front that really kind of set their tone for their run game. So it's, it's interesting to, to, you know, see they've, the, in the past they've had some big backs that are able to run behind that big front line. Um, you know, when you were playing, you, you got to see that big front line with big backs. That's kind of the, 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 the game plan for them. That's, what the, that's the offense that they run. So what do, you, what do you think? Well, looking at the schedule here, as far as the roster goes, I'm um, seeing a lot of kids that are, that are quite bigger than uh, what we are. But, you know, a lot of that comes down to speed, agile, and being able to execute what you do on the field. Yeah, and, and, you know, Coach Lowry comes out. He's got kind of that smash mouth, you know, going to run it right at you and make you stop him. He's going to get three yards each time, um, you know, and as long as he does that, he keeps moving down the field. That's That's been his, his offense, you know, since he's been, you know, at Salem. Then he went to Paoli. He's here now. Um, you know, that's that's kind of what he does, and that's the offense that really seems to work. Yeah, it's definitely well, – back in my day, it was definitely one of those uh, teams that was really hard. You kind of knew it was coming. But you just had to kind of figure out what was what it was. Uh, we're definitely going to be able to experience more of that, uh, especially here with Jeremy Lowry. He's got a pretty good base underneath of him, looks like. Uh, we got some some younger coaches out there. It's good to see that he's, he's training them up. Uh, also, can't wait to see what he does with some of these kids. Uh, looks like he's got a pretty good roster underneath of him. I can't wait to see where this all goes uh, come sectional time. You know, it's interesting. The the um scrimmage kind of setting the way it works they are, each team is going to get 15 plays or 18 minutes um, and then there's going to be a four minute break and then each team gets 10 plays in 12 minutes from the 10 yard line and then there's another four minute break and then 12 plays from the 35 so you're going to see you know kind of kind of some some red zone area stuff that they're going to try to run see kind of how it goes um no real score kept but in everybody's mind it, you're seeing how you you hold up against another team yeah also I, i'm kind of seeing here I, I can only imagine the, the nerves these guys are under i know they've been practicing for weeks on end they're ready for this uh they've been just i mean hammering it down really hard I know that it's going to be one of those things that everybody's got some nerves, got to knock those off, and then really settle in. Yeah, you're you're exactly right. That's it's you know time to time to kind of see what you've what you've got and how you hold up against another team. Um, we do see the Senators coming out onto the field here. I've got about 10 seconds, and like we said, you know, not the not the normal, not going to be a kickoff or, or anything. You know, the the um, Cougars are going to start from the 35, and they're going to get 15 plays. They could score on each 15, or they could score on none of them. They're going to keep the ball for those 15 plays. Big shout out to Brad Mills, usually going to be part of the the trio up here, but he had to go home sick today, so he's. Uh, He's going to hang out at home. He's, he's watching from home, so big shout-out to him. Hopefully he's feeling um, better. Well, we were told they were going to start at the other end and play on only that end. I guess that has Looks like that's changed a little bit. <laughs> has changed. And I think they're trying to figure it out down there. They're, they're, they're ah. changing the direction of the ball. Well, we're going we're gonna to go to the other end. We're going to go from the 35, and then the next time we'll be in closer to the red zone on our side from the 35 there. So there we go. That makes more sense. Senator's going to start with the ball.
We're going to start with the ball. Gavin Hunt, the junior, going to do the quarterbacking for the Senators. He goes under center. It's that pitch out wide. That goes out to 11, which is Alex Williams. He steps out of bounds at about the 45. Hunter, what do you think about the first offensive play for the Senators? That's pretty big. Uh, I really think that was a, a real good play. I mean, they, they executed that well, especially with those big guys up on front for North Harrison. The, those yeah. guys on the ball, they got off pretty quick. 78 for North Harrison is a big guy. I mean, just he's looking at a – he's a, <laughs> a junior, six foot, six foot four. Yeah. Hunt back under center. Senator's going to run up right up the middle again, 22. That's Jameson Collier, the About sophomore. 10-yard gain. Looks like they – where are they going to mark it down at? Looks like about the 36, 35. Yeah. So, Senator's two nice runs there to start off. A little bit of change. Um, Coach Burks is now the offensive coordinator. Um, for the Senators after Keith Nance, the longtime offensive coordinator and superintendent here at West Washington, has um, decided to hang up his football for a little while at least. He may come back. There's a flag on the play. We're going to get a flag there. We're going to get an illegal motion on the Senators. So going to walk it back five. Holden Bowsman calling in the plays from the sideline. Coach Lowry on the field along with Coach Dwayne Nance back behind the Senators. Hunt keeps it. Pull. That lost it. Yeah. That was a – that ball kind of was all over the place, so – Looked to me like a little bit of miscommunication there with the <laughs> yeah, line. Yeah, who was who was taking that one? wasn't what, Nobody was quite sure. There. Senators back under center. Looks like they got Xander McFeeders back behind them. Yep, that's twenty-five. That's, that's, that's Xander right there. He's Going and still moving. Nice Breaking run there the by McFeeters. That's a name that many Senator fans have heard a lot of. It's a nice pickup there for Xander. First, first varsity carry that I remember for him. So Senator's doing a nice job moving the ball here. Still 14 minutes to go on that 18-minute play clock that they get. So... Hunt back under center again. James and Collier in behind him. Oh, given. Rolls out for the pass. It's a little short. 23 there to get a hand on it. That's Colton Brown unable to bring that one in. Not really a whole lot that Hunt could put on that one, throwing across his body across the field. So, Coach Lowry coaching up Colton Brown after that. Um, play thought Colton should, probably should have caught that one so Hunt back under center 22 call you're back in the backfield he gets Ooh, the ball and is stuck. met by the whole crew of Cougars there in the backfield you know, that's one thing that they're going to have to watch with this, this North Harrison front line. These guys are big. They're going to be pushing pretty hard. Yeah. The RO line, these guys just got to get their hands in there. Well, and our and RO line is a little undersized. I mean, they're, they're, you know, they're 180 to 200, where North Harrison's line is 220 to 240. So, you know, going to be undersized tonight. Hunt comes back to, to the huddle, calls in the play. 
I think McFeeters checked back in to the backfield, so he's going to be the lone back in the backfield. Looks like they're running two tight ends here as well. Looks to throw over the head of number 11. That's Alex Williams who made that first catch um, of the game and was able to scurry down the field, was unable to get that one. It was above his head from Hunt. That's one thing that the Senators are going to have to do this year. They're going to have to throw a little more than they did in the past just to keep everybody honest um, on that defensive side of the ball. Looks like Jeremy Lowry stepping in there, talking to him a little bit, giving him some encouragement. Yeah. McFeeter's not quite sure what play it is. Lowry just turns and tells him what play it is. Here comes another pass. They're there. That's trouble. There, there, yep. Still kept him up, though. We yep. don't want to get anybody hurt in this game. We're going to get a new set of line coming in, I believe. Going to come back all the way to the 35 and start it over again. A couple of numbers we see coming in. Number 71, Gavin Clooney, the sophomore. And then also uh, Rolo Brookover coming in to the offensive line. So both of those, um, you know, we said we were undersized. When those two come in, we're not so much undersized anymore. Sure is. <laughs> Big game changer there. Yeah, Rolo, the, the – uh, junior checks in just a touch under 300 pounds. So he's, a, he's a, a big guy to move. We said 78 for North Harrison was big. Well, Rolo matches up with him really nice. Looks and that's, like they're going to head to head that's exactly who they match up with. Nice pitch out wide. I didn't see the number on that. I think it was 32. Tyler Miller as he comes up. Yep, that was Tyler Miller. Nice uh, run there for Tyler, the senior. About seven almost. Maybe eight. Yeah, it looks like a gain of eight there. Those of you who haven't been around West Washington in the past week, um, we were given the news that our scoreboard was hit by lightning, so that's why you don't see a scoreboard on the bottom of your screen tonight. Um, so that's in the process of getting fixed. Um, we do have one play clock working in one end zone. So hopefully those all get fixed by next pitch, week. 32. Yep, Tyler Miller tries to get yeah, the corner, not able to get corner. there. He's stuffed before he can get that corner. So Miller Miller's first run picks up about seven. That one comes back and picks up maybe one. We call it third down and three. I think we've got some new people on the Chang Gang over there, too. See Titan Williams holding one. Tank's still over there, but I can't see who's on the third one. Senators come out. They're set again. Third down and three here. Hunt still under center. Trekker Suvac, I believe, is the Another back in the backfield. The Suvac picks up first down so going to move the chains like we said you know the senator is going to run the the offense where you're looking you know at a read up the middle hopefully somebody reads it wrong and you can break one um, but if you if you don't read it or if you read it correctly they're still going to get a couple of yards two three yards every time so you know that's that's the famous Jeremy Lowry way yeah. everybody anybody that's ever watched any of his teams play they know that it's coming it's just hard to stop yeah. you're going to get that three yards either way Suvac still in the backfield. We're going to get a flag on that one. Hunt lowers his head, gets up for maybe a gain of two, but I have a feeling this one's going to come back on a motion on the Senators, just not getting set. Jeremy down there talking <laughs> Jer to him, trying Jeremy to trying to, what's going on. trying to talk his way out of this one. Smile on both of their faces. <laughs> The officials are not quite sure what to do. It, it was the, the head official who called it, so it's going to gonna come back. Looks like we're going to be switching. Yeah, I believe that was their 18th play. So, well, 
Looks like North Harrison's going to be getting the ball here. Let's see how our defense performs. Yeah. Well, and we, you know, we said our line was a little undersized. You know, it's it's going to be tough because our line's going to have to play both ways. We're going to we're going to see a lot of a lot of rotation on that line. Um, nobody, none of those linemen are going to be able to play every down on both sides of the ball. That's not going to work out for the Senators. So you see them come over, you know, get coached up by Coach Gibby, who I don't know exact years that he's been here, but I'm pretty sure I, I think it's like 33 maybe, 34. 30, it's, it's above the 30, yeah, I know that. Yeah, it, it's a long time. He's, a, he's the, the staple here for Senator football. Uh, definitely, definitely a big uh, portion of our defense here. <laughs> Uh, he's been with us for a long time. He definitely makes you feel like you're part of part of the family. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So North Harrison comes out. They get the ball at the 35. Going to go the same way. Looks like we still got our two biggest guys out front here. North Harrison going to have David Langdon under center, the senior quarterback. Turns and hands it off. Right up the middle. That's 22. He's broken two tackles, Bryce three tackles. Fessels. He's Finally on his way down. on his way down the field after a pickup about 37 of about 30 yards there for him. Nice run there by Fessel. He's a junior, 5'11", 175 pounds. Runs really hard right at the line. So ah Brad Mills chiming in. 1993 was Gibby's first year here, so you can do the math. <laughs> I might have to pull a calculator out for that one. <laughs> 31. 31. <laughs> There's another nice run by North Harrison. They run kind of that same offense that the Senators do. Just seems like their line is a little bigger, so they get a bigger push there. Going to be second down in about six. structure here. Another handoff right up the middle. Yep. Looks like he stopped about two yards of gain there. That's number nine, Colton McKinney. Neither one of the backs that we've seen so far are what I would consider the normal North Harrison, the big, you know, 220-pound running back. Um, both of these that we've seen so far are the 170 pound make you miss in a hole and then break one off so most definitely you're definitely right on that Craig looks like uh, they brought a pretty big fullback in here plays a pretty good block there looks like they're running a power oh yeah that's a nice nice run there again bring that fullback in and just run right behind him you know senators do it a lot with misdirection plays North Harrison's going to do it they're going to put man on man and make you beat them Looks like that fullback's Peyton King. He's a senior, six foot, two forty-five. Yeah, but, and he gets a three-yard head start before he hits somebody. So yeah, be like <laughs> hitting, getting hit by a train with that one. There's, QB sneak. Yeah, there's there's a nice Looks sneak there. Like they picked there. up the first down there. Going to keep the drive going, and like we said, that's that's kind of the way the Senators want to work their their offense. You know, they're going to get two or three yards every time. You got to keep it keep it moving each time and that you know they needed a yard and their quarterback was able to pick them up a yard and that's what I've been seeing here from the North Harrison side too I've been seeing a lot of powers something we really like to do and a lot of a lot of halfback dives here there's another nice run by the Cougars they set with two fullbacks in the backfield there there's another run by Bryce Fessel as well. Yeah. And they run right right up the back of both of them. The first one takes the first person in the hole. The second one gets on to the linebackers, and then the back is able to get, you know, into the into open area out there. So Fessel back under center. Hand it off to nine. Colton McKinney. 
Looks like he's going to pick up about four, I think. Uh, maybe five. Down into that red zone where the Senators really have to buckle down. That's something that Coach Gibby's always been really good about. You know, in the middle of the field, they may give up, you know, some yards. But once they get down into that red zone, they really tend to stop, you know, teams down there. There's that handoff to that fullback. Yeah. telling you about number 17. Yep, Peyton King is able to get down there into the end zone. So North Harrison comes out on their first drive and able to drive it all the way down, get into the end zone. So they score here. Um, like we said, you know, this is the scrimmage. So different than normal, there aren't, um, you know, you, you don't kick after you score. You keep the ball after you score. You get, you know, a certain amount of time. It's 18 minutes um, or t 15 plays this first time, and you go from the 35. So once you score, North Harrison keeps the ball and goes back again. So these defensive guys don't get to come off the field. Set them down on the 35 again here. Yep. All the Senator players over here looking over for Gibby to give out the play call here. <laughs> Gibby's, Gibby's a uh, superstitious guy. He always wears the opposite color of everybody else. <laughs> for sure, for sure. He likes to stand out. He's, he's got on the white shirt where everybody else is in the blue. Makes it easy for his defensive guys to find him. <laughs> like a little bit of confusion. Yeah, confusion here on the side. North Harrison side. They're not sure which way they're going. They're flipping their, their receivers to opposite sides. Going to be a, out for a pass here. Fessel going to pass a little that bit of pressure. Nice Looks like catch Scott, there. He pops up. That's number nine. That's Colton McKinney. Looks like he's on the 42-yard line there. Nice snag by him. First pass that we've seen, I believe, from North Harrison. It is. So I know there's lots of people in this county watching um, the North Harrison Cougars because it's a, a first week opponent for Salem. So, you know, Salem's going to play this team next week. Um, I believe Salem's scrimmaging at Mitchell tonight, maybe. Here goes another handoff up the middle to number nine. It's a nice hole there again by the. By the Cougars. Yeah, you're going to see that big hole there yeah, pretty frequently. Every those time. big guys moving out front. Yep. 78, we talked about him on defense. He comes back through and, you know, is the the um, Cougars just run right up his back with a fullback and then slide off the one side or the other once he gets downfield. You know, it's kind of surprising that they got him playing O-line. He's, he's more of the, the North Harrison kind of running back. Yeah. Size. Yep. Back like under. A little bit of unbalance here on the right-hand side. Drops back for a pass. Ball's up, and it's caught. Nice catch out there. That's number 12, Joshua Wayne Scott. Also does their kicking duty. Senators looking for that defensive call in from Coach Gibby. It's another there handoff another up, up the, the center. Middle, number 17, he's still going. Senators. Looks like it's going to take about four Senators to take him down. Yeah, there were four on him for sure. There were another couple that he shed on the way to get there. So it takes a total of six Senators to finally bring him down. standing here talking to Xander McFeeders, which is like, looks like he's our, our middle linebacker. Yeah. Big responsibilities for that sophomore. Once again, North Harrison under center. Rolls yep. out for another pass. Out to number 25. 
Nice hit Big there, hit but it's going to be too late. Xander. He's going to get into the end zone and score for the second time. Cougar's going to come back and set it up again. I want to give a big shout out to all of our sponsors this year. Uh, Raymond James, Jamie Sullivan, Washington County Community Foundation, Ryan Batt with United Producers, Gilstrap Motors, Lynx Clothing and Shoes, Michael Long with American Family, the Washington County Substance Abuse, um, which is run through the YMCA, and Busick Mechanical Services. I want to give a big shout out to all of those for allowing us to do what we do and bring you the games. Um, if you're looking to get into sponsorship, you can give uh, myself or AD Darren Russell a call and we can get a package together for you that will um, you know meet your needs big shout out to all of those because um, they allow us to bring you these games North Harrison once again hands the ball off that's 35 looks like he's pushed back there a yep. little bit Aiden Childers that's the first time we've seen him carry the ball tonight Also another about 160-pound one, running back there as well. <laughs> they just keep bringing them, right? Yeah. So we're going to have a four-minute break here for um, the Senators and the Cougars to kind of get balanced out and get ready for their next set of plays, which are 10 plays from the 10-yard line. So kind of a goal line defense there. So we're going to step aside. Here's some of those commercials from some of those great sponsors, and we'll be back for more Senator action here on WWSR and West Washington live stream. Expertise, resources, commitment. At Sullivan Financial, we offer a team approach to financial planning offering you a broader scope of expertise than you will likely find in any one person. Clients are our main priority, which is why we work to understand your unique circumstances and ultimately create a distinctive plan that provides a roadmap for your financial journey. Located in Mitchell, Indiana, they can be reached at 812-849-2670. That's 812-849. Two six seven zero. In 2012, the Washington County Community Foundation began working on its next big initiative, Education Matters. The goal of Education Matters is to increase the educational attainment of adults residing in our county. The initial focus has centered on adults with some college and no degree. With the assistance of scholarships and a peer mentoring program, the foundation began helping adults return to college to complete their degree or obtain a certification in 2013. Realizing that strength lies in numbers, Washington County partnered with Clark, Floyd, Harrison, and Scott counties to create Education Matters Southern Indiana. This initiative continues to build. Is your ride not as reliable as it used to be? Eddie Gilstraps is the place to go. With 80 years in the auto industry, we know how to get things done. At Eddie Gilstrap Motors, we have an unbeaten level of commitment to buyers, unmatched customer service, a wide array of new and used inventory, and various financing options are just a few of the ways in which we serve our customers. Give us a call at 877-227 9421. That's 877 227 9421. Or just visit our website. Lynx Clothing and Shoes is proud to support West Washington Senator football and wish them a great season. Stop by and see us for all your school fan gear. We offer a wide variety of tees, hoodies, hats, and more. We also offer custom screen printing and embroidery for your team, business, or event. We are conveniently located on the north side of the Salem Square and have been serving our community for over 15 years. Our hours are Monday through Friday, 9 to 5.30, and on Saturdays, they're 9 to 3. Stop in or call us at 812-883-4154. That's 812-883-4154. Shop local and save. Back to live action here at West Washington. 
for the football scrimmage between the host Senators and the visiting Cougars. Second set of plays, 10 plays, 12 minutes from the 10-yard line. It's going to be a nice pitch. Lots nice of open option. room out there. Room. Oh, we're going to oh, get a flag, a late flag. I believe Tyler be Miller going to pick that one up. Came a, came a touch late from the sideline, but. Did they call out what it was? No. Nope. So, second play going to come from the 10-yard line again. Actually, this one going to come from the 11. So, they called it on the 1, 10-yard penalty. Going to back it up to the 11. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah, that, that's a, a holiday number right there, isn't it? Yeah. With, with a hold out wide. Wait about another 10 years, <laughs> and you'll see several more of them in it, I'm sure. I used to remember those calls. Hunter Holiday with the hole. <laughs> Gonna be a handoff. Similar play right up the middle up here. Up the middle, that's 22 carrying that. Which still is got, a, got a bunch of North Harrison guys there on the gang tackle. We still ended up picking up a couple there. Yeah, that's Jameson Collier. Gets, like we said, a couple there. Like we said, the scrimmage, uh, get 10 plays from the 10-yard line or 12 minutes, whichever comes first. So the way the Senators run their offense, they're usually pretty quick. So time really not uh, an issue for them on this. Inside handoff there. Finally brought down. Looks like he's at about the four. You know, that's one of those things, Craig, we were talking about earlier, that Jeremy Lowry way. Sometimes it's even hard to see it from up here at the press box. Yeah, you're not sure who's got it. They run so much misdirection all over the place. Not sure which one, um, you know, who carried it, who, who had it. So big shout-out to Mallory Holiday. She checks in online watching the game. center here again. Uh, pulls pulls pitch. that one, pitches it out wide, 232. Tries to get the stiff arm there, still breaks free. Ooh, and he gets laid pretty hard with a hit there down on the one. Yep, that is Tyler Miller once again out wide. Finally does get that corner, which is nice once he gets there. Um, Senator's going to get the ball here on about the one. Set up on the left hash as well, Craig. It gives a lot of open space over here to the right-hand side. Like we got number 23, Colton Brown, out here. Yep. He's the one who ran that nice out route, but then just couldn't get his hand on the ball when it came back to him. Hunt goes back under center. 25, Xander McFeeters in the backfield. Hand off to him. We'll see gets if they that one. I think there. he's got in. Yep. Yep. We they see the signal. He gets in from the one. So nice job there by McFeeters to get in the back or into the end zone. Senator's going to set up for another set of plays from the 10. Said I couldn't tell who it was on the uh, down marker. It's Dennis Tankersley over there. I saw him walk in. I thought he was sitting with his wife here in the stands. Clearly not. He's over on the down marker. So Senators back under center here with Hunt. So you've got number four, Hayden Morrow, out on the left side there, matched up one-on-one. -on -one. Hunt pulls pitch. it. Nice pitch there to Wide 24. Field. Isaiah Dennis gets into the end zone. Nice pitch there by Gavin Hunt to Isaiah Dennis. He gets in. A 
That's a nice pitch there, nice play for the Senators. If they can run that this year, you know, with their pretty much a, a three-back set that they've got, um, you know, that's going to make them very hard to defend. Drops back for the pass. Looks like they're going to call a sack. Yeah. That. Number 77 got back there, got his hands on him. Yep. Well, and and Coach Lowry is not real happy with how quick he got through the line. Somebody over there missed a block. We're going to see 50 check out. Peyton Mancini come out of the game. Just before that, Hayden Morrow come out. Look for a misdirection here, maybe a power or an option. The way we ran that option last time, I like to see that. <laughs> yeah, for sure, for sure. I'd like to see that executed all night long. And he drops back for another pass, rolls out to the right side. It's covered up, still got a catch. Ooh, 33. That's Trekker Suvak with a nice catch, but then gets met in the back. You know, he lined up in the backfield, Craig, so that was definitely one of those – those redirection plays that Jeremy Lowry is really good at. He come plumb out of the backfield and ended up all the way over there in the corner towards the end zone. Yeah, Trucker Suvac gets hit in the back right at about the four-yard line. Um, you know, I think just kind of got the wind knocked out of him. He's up on the sideline. Coach is checking him out, making sure he's good. Moves around a little bit. I'm sure he'll be back in in the next few plays. That's one of the things that these boys, they're not really used to yet, you know, warming up. Don't go a whole lot of full pads in the summertime because we don't want to get anybody hurt. Yeah. Hand off to 25, which Xander is McFeeters. Xander McFeeters. Looks like he's going to come down at about the one-foot line. I believe that's uh, – Just inside the one-yard line. Yeah. I don't know if they've – yeah, they've got another play left. So this – I believe this is the 10th play for the Senators. So they've got to get in here. So this would be a nice one to see Hunt just run right up those gaps. He hands it off, and McFeeters, McFeeters gets in. in. Nice job by him to get in. So that's the 10th play for the Senators. They're going to flip around um, and turn to the defensive side. We see longtime offensive coordinator Keith Nance come walking in. First time he's probably seen a game from these bleachers in quite some time. <laughs> so Senator's going to go out on defense from the 10, kind of that goal line set. North Harrison going to come out with their offense. Boys getting kind of switched up. Who's going in? Who's coming out? You know, Craig, that's going to be one of the things here with this this little bit of a smaller team in this year. We're going to be rotating out a lot. You know, they, they're going to have to be getting some fresh air to keep them all fresh. Yeah. They we're, we're up to speed. When you see, you know, lots of people going to water bottles and things, this is the first time they've been in real full pads going, you know, full out, um, you know, Luckily, we haven't seen anybody cramp up yet, but I know that's usually the big thing the first couple of weeks, you know, all the cramps that happen Week to one, the legs. Two, three, and four. And you got to make sure they stay hydrated out there. It's, it's pretty hot out there today. If anybody else has been out, they know what we're talking about. I know those pads and helmets, they, they typically add about another 10 to 15 degrees easy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, for sure. So... Senators come out on the defensive side. Girls come out with some water. Going to give it to the officials, to the players, to whoever needs some. So quickly the boys put the water back. Now we're ready for some football. <coughs> Yeah. 
North Harrison back under center here. Another power run, nice cut back there. Goes from the 10 down to about the three. Looks like we got one of the North Harrison players taking a knee there, number 58. We see 60 for the Senators subbed in. Looks like he's coming in as middle linebacker. Yeah, that's Brennan Spears. Sorry, not Spears, Sears. Hand off up the center. They get into the end zone. North Harrison scores on just two plays, so that's a it's a nice run for them, nice ability for them to get into the end zone there on just two plays. Like we said, you know, the scrimmage setup, how they, how they do it, you get um, 10 plays from the 10-yard line or 12 minutes. Um, neither of these teams going to take the full 12 minutes. They move pretty quick. Senators sub out two guys. So going to see Rolo kind of take over the center of that offensive line going to play what we would traditionally call a nose guard there's a cutback there by number nine which is Colton McKinney nice cutback there for him unable to get anything actually loses a yard there's that change out that we keep seeing Craig yeah it's pretty frequently keeping these guys fresh swapping out 60 for 25 North Harrison comes out in their uh, traditional set. See kind of that offset fullback, kind of that offset T. Nice He's hit in the, the line backfield. Though. That is Hayden Morrow, number four, steps up and shuts that one down quickly. Like we're going to be bringing Hayden out and moving Andrew Chastain in. Yeah, kind of a sub in, sub out, sub around. Um. You know, a big portion of this, Craig, is bringing fresh guys in to play positions. That way we kind of know where we're going, rolling into week one. Right, and, and they're still trying to get it figured out who's going to play where, how, how this is all going to work. Um. There's another handoff to big number 77. Yeah. Is that 77 or 17? That's, That's 77, 220 pounds, 6 foot 2. Yeah. We're going to be joined here in just a second by AD Darren Russell. He's going to tell us about the ways that people can come and get passes for uh, Senator Athletics. Got lots of stuff going on. We've got volleyball. We've got um, football, cross country, all of these things going on. Darren, how can, how can people get in? You know, what are the options for getting into games and things? Okay, we offer several different packages. Um, you know, we have the all-sport pass that gets you into basically anything, 7 through 12, junior high, high school, JV, whatever. Um, that, that includes up to four people in your family for $260, I believe it is. Uh, we offer a senior citizen's pass that gets, gets one person in if they're over the age of 65. To, uh, for $80 each. Uh, we offer um, individual sports passes, depending upon the sport, depends upon what the cost is. But we will be selling them Tuesday night at the home volleyball game against Scottsburg. Um, we will also, they're available at any time at school. I mean, parents can send their check, send a check with their kids, and I will give them the, the tickets to take home to the parents. Uh, you know, the, or they can come into school anytime and pick them up. We had three or four people come in today and pick up season passes. So, you know, it's it's a good advantage, um, especially for those parents, grandparents that are attending, you know, games four nights a week because, <laughs> you know, it that six dollar admission adds up yeah. pretty quickly. Yeah, um, you know, and and 
there's no place like home and West Washington's home. And, um, you know, we put on great events. If you, you know, are out here, which if you're listening to us, you're probably not, but had the grill going tonight for football. I believe we have five home football games this year. Yes, we do. So five home football games this year. Um, you know, the, it's, it's worth the, the price of admission just to get in and get some, get some stuff from the grill. Yeah, I mean, the grill, that's, that's what everybody knows West Washington for is, is Friday night grill. Uh, we, and we've upped what we've ordered in the past because, you know, the biggest sell fight out. was is we always <laughs> sell out. Well, you know, no matter – I felt like last year we had more than we did the previous year, so we've upped it again this year. But, you know, we obviously have the ribeyes. Uh, we've got uh, Robert's Farms hamburgers, cheeseburgers. Uh, we got brats. we got hot dogs, and, of course, we got the cheesy potatoes. Yeah, I had everybody's favorite. Yeah, I had I had the the Roberts Farm cheeseburger and the cheesy potatoes tonight, and they were on point. So, yeah. <laughs> so I don't know who had the grill tonight. I couldn't tell if it was volleyball or it softball. Was, it was volleyball. Softball's got it next week. Yeah, so, so so volleyball did a great job of cooking tonight. That was some some yeah. good food. And it'll probably be the same cooks because Morgan and Kenny. <laughs> yeah, Morgan and Kenny will cook just about any time. And if you've got a sport that doesn't have somebody who cooks, Morgan and Kenny seem to be volunteered. Yeah. And, and they, they've already sent me a list when I go to Clarksville this week of things I need to pick up. I, I knew I'd forgotten the A1 sauce for the ribeyes, but they told me I need a barbecue sauce too. So, it just, so we'll have all that next week. Yeah, that's, so, for us, this is kind of our scrimmage too. Well, that, work all the kinks out. That's how I started the whole broadcast. I said, you know, we're, we're <clears> trying to get things figured out, trying to make sure we've got everything ready for the first actual game. So getting mm-hmm. all the kinks out. And it, it's everybody. It's the football team. It's the broadcast. It's the, the grill, the concessions, right. the getting people in um you know it people don't realize how many people it takes to actually put on an event exactly i mean it's a lot different at football than it is for you know just a a regular season basketball or baseball or softball games football it takes an (laughs) army and and i'm i'm very fortunate i've got a lot of great volunteers that'll help and put in a lot of time and you know it's the same thing when we host basketball regional host sectionals yeah. uh you know the, when we have the holiday tourneys it's the same thing it's never an issue getting workers so you know i'm very appreciative of everybody here that helps out and, and it seems like there's usually two or three people deep so if somebody can't be here in a spot you've got somebody else who who yeah. knows how to do that and kind of well, kind of just backs that up that's that's like today about 11 o'clock one of our chain gang members he sent me a text and said he wouldn't be able to make it his minister passed away, and he wouldn't be here. Within five minutes, I made one phone call and had somebody <laughs> cover it. So, you know, that's that's nice. Well, that's like the message you sent me at 2.30. You, you said, hey, yeah. can, can you run music tonight? I was like, I don't know if I can, but I sure will find somebody. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, you know, and, that, and that's the thing. I mean, you know, there's always somebody willing to step up and help out, and, it, you know, just makes things go very smooth and, and we put on a pretty good show. Yeah, and, and it's the same way for every sport, you know, football, mm-hmm. basketball, even even wrestling things and, oh, yeah. and volleyball. You know, it, it's still a good good thing for uh, all of those. I was here for the volleyball scrimmage, and, you know, the, the crowd was here. There were lots mm-hmm. of people. You know, the, the food in the um, concession stand was good. It's not grill food, but it's, it's right. hot dogs and, you know, your normal concession stand stuff. And, you know, it's just a good time. Uh, exactly. And, you know, you mentioned wrestling. We got asked again this year by the ITSA to host – girls wrestling regional so you know we'll be hosting that for the second year here last year was the first year for girls only regional and i mean there was a lot of girls here i was extremely shocked how many and and i know that's a a sport that just continues to grow and you know tank and i was talking and there's going to be a lot more girls this year here so you know that that's exciting and you know obviously we did something right for them to give it back to us the second year well, sticking with that girls' sports, um, you know, girls' golf started. Right. Talk to me a little bit about that. Yeah, we last year we had a group of girls um, come and ask what they had to do to – or if we could get a girls' golf team. Well, we, we told them the process that they had to go through. Uh, they had to get X amount of num- or signatures on a petition. They had to present it to the board. And these girls did all that on their own. I mean, you know, and, and they, they ask questions. They ask me questions. They ask Coach Wolf questions. Um, so, you know, they, they went about it the right way. And I think we've got nine, nine girls. Yeah, that's what girls. I saw in the picture was nine. So. Nine girls. And, you know, uh, talking to 
Hank over at Salem, they've got two girls. Yeah. I mean, in the Eastern, I don't think, has very many. And, and typically, in our conference, there's only like one or two teams that can field a full team. And everybody else is two or three golfers is it. Or they start off with five and end, end up, up with, with one or yeah. two. Yep. So so we're re- really happy. And it, the girls seem like they're enjoying it. And, I mean, they're very dedicated to golf. I mean, they go out and play all the time, even out of season. So and there's a couple girls that I know go to Louisville for lessons. So, you know, they're taking it serious. And, and that is a sport that they can continue to play for the rest of their lives. So looking into the future, what's the next sport that's added here? What are you, what are you thinking? Well, we're really thinking about out there in that north end of the parking lot, uh, digging this big hole and filling it with concrete <laughs> and building a swimming pool. Oh, there we go. Yeah, <laughs> there we go. That would be <laughs> awesome. No, no. Everybody totally, in the community would love that. Totally totally gonna, we're going we're gonna to have an outdoor pool. We're the only <laughs> school in Indiana to have an well, outdoor I pool. Say, I, did, I didn't get a finish. We're going to build a dome over oh, the top of it. Oh, a dome over the top of it. <laughs> You know, I, I saw where uh, Lucas Oil did that. Yeah, yeah, and then they, they turned came it. back in and put the turf down and played football a yep. day or two later. Yep. So there we so, go. You know, that, that's that's kind of <laughs> the plan that we've got. <laughs> you know, it's real funny that you say that. We got Tim Barksdale over here that's on the school board. He's laughing at us, shaking his head. <laughs> I don't think I was supposed to let that out. Oh, yes. well, <laughs> for those of you out there, that's a big joke. We're not putting in a swimming we pool. Not We're not putting, putting in a, a dome, sw- any of those things. <laughs> <laughs> Tim's, Tim's getting calls yeah, right Tim, now. Tim's phone's blowing up. <laughs> so, uh, no, well, I don't know what the next sport will be. Um, you know, I – that, and that's the thing. I, I well, and, and for a 1A school, it's hard to field <coughs> multiple right. teams in a, in a season. I know boys' volleyball is actually the sport that is growing the fastest yeah. right now. But And we've got a lot of kids that would love to play volleyball, but it's in the spring. It's in the and spring. It's going to cut into baseball and track and golf numbers. So, you know, you don't want to take away from those sports right. that are already there. So, you know, I just – I'm not sure that we'll see – any sports added, yeah. especially in the, in the near future. Darren, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, are all students free again this year? Yes, thanks oh, to Subway. Yeah. All of our, our students, K through 12, are free. Um, you know, that's that's a huge bonus for our kids. And, uh, you know. Well, and you see it tonight. You see all the kids here. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. You know, and, and you know, I, I've got athletic directors – call when we put it out that they were sponsoring us again uh, there's a lot of people from other schools that start griping at their ad's about how come our kids and don't get in free and you know and, and they start asking me about it. and i said yeah we let them in but how much money are they spending with concessions oh yeah money? every kid how much they are their parents <laughs> spending <laughs> yeah every exactly. kid every kid that walks in that gate stops at the concession stand yeah. before they make it to the seats well how many of them stop at the grill <laughs> yeah too? that I mean, too that's that too yeah, i was down there earlier and i think i seen Maybe half a dozen of them down there, they were all oh. getting those burgers. They were mm-hmm. getting the, the famous cheesy potatoes. Yeah. Oh, I know. I mean, so, you know, and, and it's a school spirit. I mean, you want those kids to come and get in the habit because, unfortunately, we, you know, even we host sectional, we can't let kids in free for sectional, but you hope that they have enjoyed themselves all season long and not had to pay and then can buy a – yeah, well, a season ticket. And, and that's the thing, you know, for sectional come, come sectional time, you know, what is a season pass for sectional? Is it 12 bucks? Uh, I think it's 12. So yeah. 12 bucks, that's two regular season games, you mm-hmm. know, so they're, if they spend their 12 bucks and come to the all sectional, I mean, that's, that's right. a heck of a deal. That's exactly. a, a big thanks to Subway, you know, for doing that. They've done it. This is their second year. Is it year? second? Yeah. I couldn't remember if it's second or third, um, you know, but just, just, you know, huge thanks to them for sponsoring that and allowing all these kids to get out here. If you look at our student section tonight, you know, they're, what, eight rows deep, probably ten yeah. across each. So we've got 80 kids here just sitting in the student section. Right. That's not counting all the ones that are spread out throughout the rest of the stands. Oh, you're exactly right. I mean, that's when when Subway said they was willing to do it, I mean, that was a huge relief. I mean, because, you know, you, you, you want the kids there, but you understand that not all of them can afford it all the time to get in and – you know, it, it puts a burden on some of the parents. So, you know, for them to be able to get in. Well, and, and Subway's great about, you know, anytime you ask them for anything, you know, oh, yeah. they, I mean, they do the hospitality room. They'll bring sandwiches in. Um, you know, they donate to the elementary school. They bring sandwiches in for P, for professional mm-hmm. development days and things. They do stuff in the high school. So Subway's just been really great to West Washington out right. here. And, you know, and the thing is, is our, our kids love Subway. Oh, yeah. I mean, 
you know, before games, most of them go to Subway yeah. and get something to eat before they <laughs> play that night. Yep. So, I mean, and that's that's what I want is I want our kids to support these businesses that support them out here on the field or on the court or wherever they're at. Yeah, that's that's one of the, the big things that, you know, we start off our broadcast with all of our sponsors, and we've picked up some, some great ones this oh, year yeah. with, with all of our, our live stream sponsors. Um, you know, when we ask, you know, the community comes together and, and really helps us out here at West oh, Washington. Definitely. So, Darren, thanks for all your time. I know you're busy. You're, you're getting phone calls about that pool and the uh, yeah. dome that you're building. So we'll let you get back to your AD duties. But thank you for stopping in and, and talking with us. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you for what you guys do because, yep. I mean, live, our live stream is well known not just around here. All across the state. Yeah, so. it, it's funny. We get messages. Hey, are you are you streaming this? Are you streaming this? And we're like, Yeah, we'll be there. Give yep. give us give us some time. We'll get it set up and get it going. So, mm. Senator's going to come out back on the the uh, offensive side Senator, here. Thank you. <clears throat> so I believe this is. Uh, we got the ball on the ground. That's a that's a problem. I think so that we was still recovered it though. Yeah, I think that was Tankersley in for quarterback. I think they switched around and played some got some JV players in there at the moment. So that's that's uh, nice for for them to be able to get in and get some some offense. So Jink going back under center there. Yeah. You know, one of the hard parts for him is he's not as very tall, but so he's got to be agile and be quick. Yeah. He gets – he is able to hand it off to 45, Julian Worley. I will say one of the advantages to having a little bit of a shorter QB with this offense that Jeremy Lowry runs is it's it, it hide hides that ball a little bit more. Yeah. As long as, as Tankersley can get that ball out of there, he can hide it really well because he tucks right in behind those those uh, bigger offensive linemen. <laughs> and he's got big ones on each side, Clooney on one side and Rolo on the other. So nice handoff there. I believe that's Worley again. Is there a play in there, Craig? I, I was just watching in that last play there. Looks like uh, North Harrison's defensive end, he was – kind of trying to figure out which way the ball was going and didn't really know. So, And I think that's all up to the QB, which way they want to give it off. Yeah, I think that's a, a read for him on which way he wants to give it, if he wants to give it at all or if he wants to pull it. So, That's a lot for these young QBs to, to be learning. It just makes them learn the game a little bit more. Pulls that one. Pulls that one. Breaks one tackle there. He's like going down the road. Yep. There nice, he goes. Nice run there by Tankersley. Looks like he picked up about uh, about 10 there. Does a nice job there. Wearing his uh, his family's number. That's the whole. That's the number that Holden Bowsman wore. So looks like Coach Bowsman giving him the play there. North Harrison going to flip the offense or flip their defense around. Number nine, not quite sure where to go. There's the another pitch. Pitch out wide. Nice job Sealed there. Sealed that corner. That's number eight. It's about another pickup of ten. That's Tristan Sears who gets up the field. Nice job by him to get up and get that. You know, Craig, you were talking earlier. You'd like to see that all, all, all season long. It looks like it's working out pretty well, so hopefully that carries on all the way through this yeah, season. Yeah, if they can keep running that, that's going to be really nice for them. like we're bringing out some water. Yeah, I think I think we've got some players that are getting tired. We've got some guys who've gone a lot of plays, so going to get them off the field. 
for just a, a second, get some water on, in them and make sure they don't cramp up here. Looks like we had one kid come out. Looks like he's yeah, I can't down there. see who that is. Is that Williams? Looks like he's got his shoe off. Must be a twisted ankle or yeah. something. Yeah, he's putting pressure on it. So, is it Tristan Williams? I'm getting confirmation that it is Tristan. Or yeah. Alex Williams, sorry, not Tristan, Alex Williams. So, probably. Alex is one of our, our running backs as well, our, yeah. our go-tos. Well, he was the one who caught the nice pass to start off the game and gained about 12 to 15 yards and then had that nice run also. So, Hopefully we can get him healed up by week one. Well, he's standing on it, so it must not be too bad. Maybe just a precautionary keeping him out. Tank another nice, pitch, nice pitch out there to Braden Leap. Leap ah, not going to get there. Going to be brought down pretty hard by number 25. Yeah, going to spin over. Like Coach Bow's been talking there to Gent some more. Yeah, coaching him up, making sure he, he understands what they're asking him to do. That one on the ground, he never gets out of there with it. So, yeah. Looks like North Harrison may have recovered that football. But like we said beforehand, we all get our plays it down here. So no matter what, if there is a turnover, yeah. it still comes back to us. So Senator's going to take this one back to the 35 since um, they did, you know, get that one turned over. So. So we had a little bit of confusion from our chain guys there. Yeah. Well, it's hard to do because it's it's you get in a rhythm of a regular game, and this isn't isn't a regular game. So. For sure. Uh oh. I think there was a misread there <laughs> yep. on the that, on the play. He that was, was a definite. Taking the left hand side. And nobody was there. Yeah. So 18 Brandon Alt going to check into the game there. He's going to be one of the receivers out wide. Gent goes back to talk to Coach Bowson to see what was going on there. Maybe there was a mis miscommunication between him and his guys. Yep. We also see number five, Charlie Armstrong, check in. You know, this is a pretty good group. I've watched these guys all the way from the time they were little growing up. This is going to be a really good team in a couple years. All these young guys, they play well together. Yeah. If we can just get that uh, center to quarterback ball exchange there, um, you know, it's just not getting too gent. He's he's not able to get his hands on it, not able to to keep a hold of it. So it looks like they're bringing our bringing our older guys back in. They must have caught their second win. Yeah, got some fresh air in them. Well, we flip. Now gonna we're gonna going to play defense. defense. Yep, yep. We switch and we play defense now. So this will be 12 plays or 12 minutes. Looks like we got Hayden Morrow back at safety. And it looks like they got Xander McFeeters again there in the middle, running middle linebacker. Gibby's got their eyes on him. Another power to the left side there with number nine, Fessel. Is that Colton McKinney? That's Colton McKinney, yeah. sorry. <clears throat> I think Fessel was being a decoy there, so.
Once, a, once again, want to give a big shout out to all of our sponsors this year that allow us to bring you West Washington Livestream and WWSR. Um, you know, we have Washington County Community Foundation, Jamie Sullivan with Raymond James, Eddie Gilstrap Motors, um, United Producers with Ryan Bat, um, Busick uh, Mechanical Services. They're a new pickup this year, so big thanks to them. The Washington County Community Foundation, along with the Washington County Substance Abuse, um, you know, thanks to all of them. Oh, forgot, Lynx Clothing and Shoes also, and Michael Long with American Family. So lots of sponsors. Um, you know, thank you guys very much for allowing us to, um, you know, bring you these games and for your, your support that allow us to bring you these games. You know, Craig, on that last drive there, it looked like it was a big old gang tackle by all the Senators <laughs> trying to bring one of those <laughs> running backs down. Yeah, they kind of put their head down and run right at you and not a whole lot that you can – it's going to take two or three to bring them down. Another drive up the middle to number 25. Looks like that's Braylon Howerton. Some fresh stuff coming off the North Harrison side over yeah. there as well. Yep. You know, for North Harrison being a, a 3A school, they don't have a whole lot more guys over there than what the Senators have. So I'd say it's about even myself. Yeah. <coughs> Coach Gibson throwing in the call there. I know one of his big things when uh, I was playing back in school, he he would say eyes, 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 and he everybody had to be looking at him. Otherwise, we were running <laughs> running killers in <laughs> practice next yeah. week. Yep, I'm sure it hasn't changed. QB sneak there. Yep, Senators. Oh, Number he gets seven, through. Still breaks free. He gets spun down. Um, so he's down at the one. Yep, maybe the two. Eventually, Trekker Suvac does bring him down. So nice to see Suvac back in the game after getting hit in the back there um, earlier on in that catch yeah, that he on made that there here one, on the right hand corner. Yeah, one yard line that he got hit in the back. So we're going to see the Cougars come out there on the three, looking to punch this one in. Breaks out to the right-hand side. Yep, breaks it out to the right-hand side. One of the Senators there slides in. That's 51. Tristan Brown makes a nice uh, attempted tackle, but it was on the leg of another Senator, so didn't really work out for him. So we're going to see kind of a mass sub here. I think we get about eight new guys going in. Looks like we're sending most of our JV in here. Yep. Craig, give our, our older guys kind of our starting group, give them another breather. As I was watching them out there, most of them got their hands on their hips, so they must be a little bit winded. Yep, yep. Well, like we said, you know, we're we're fairly young, um, just all over, so it's going to take some time to get really in football shape. Um, you know, the scrimmage is a great way to kind of see, but it's so fast-paced that you're going to have, have some struggles there with your, your guys playing so much offense and defense back to back to back to back to back. Um, yeah. You know, without any breaks, without any timeouts, um, you know, makes it makes it tough. For sure. Uh, I was just sitting here looking at the roster. It looks like we've only got about five five seniors this year. Right. Well, that's one thing that, that Coach Lowry is, is having to, to work through. You know, he had a big group of seniors last year that had played, you know, three or four years of varsity experience. Um, and now he's got, you know, only five seniors on the whole team. So, um, you know, kind of a little bit of growing pains there, but Coach Lowry, with the offense he runs and the and the defense of Coach Gibby, you know they can they can still be super competitive and win lots of games the just flag with that. Play on there. Good run by number thirty-five. It looks like it's coming back. Yep. Seventy-eight. We've talked about him quite a bit. He found Gent Tankersley at about ten yards behind the play. <laughs> 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 which there's quite a size difference between for between sure, that sure. you know gent goes five six one twenty nine and um you know for north harrison seventy eight is uh six four two eighty five so <laughs> just a little bit of size difference between those two I'd say one thing gent probably has going for him he might be a little faster yeah yeah might be able to outrun it but 
on that last play, Gent just didn't have a have a chance. 78 found him and locked on, and that was Gent was just There's on for a ride. Run by number 35. These young guys jump on. They finally bring him down. Ends up gaining 12, I believe it is. Be nice when our scoreboard comes back, because then you can look over there and it tells you. So. Yeah. <laughs> our guys running running the clock tonight are sitting beside us. They've got kind of an easy night. All they got to do is worry about the the regular clock and the play clock. No no down, no distance, no score, no nothing. So making it easy on them. But the rest of the year it'll be definitely hard for them. So. <laughs> Just running clock all night, huh? <laughs> Looks like they're setting up in another eye formation. North Harrison having some com complex. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Try to get that one out. <laughs> <laughs> it's still stuck right there. <laughs> some complications. Complications. Thank you, Craig. <laughs> I knew what you were trying QB. to say. Yeah. QB sneak there again. Brought it around the bootleg on the left-hand side. Nice run there. Number seven, David Langdon, able to uh, – Make a nice run. Senators do drive him out of bounds, but he's going to gain about 14 on that one. So, Isaac Worley going to come out. In goes Jackson Whitlow, the sophomore. Getting down in here to this red zone, you know, Gibby, this is where he really tightens up and makes the really good play calls and able to kind of lock it in. Got these guys back here. They had them behind the line, and they just let them end up breaking free. Yep. Senators were there to make that tackle, just unable to bring him down. So going to drive it all the way down to about the three. Make it third and First and goal on there. Yeah. Like A.D. Russell was saying earlier, Senators do have five home games. The first one, um, the first actual home game, will be next week with Eastern here at Art Sanders Field on the uh, West Washington School um, you know, Complex. So looking for something to do next Friday. It'll be here. If you can't make it here, we will be live on live stream, probably going live about 6.30-ish. Um, so those of you who want to watch it, you can see it there. Also, you can listen to it on WWSR. Both of those, WWSR, you can download from either the Google App Store or the Apple um, Store, so you can get either one of those from there. If you're looking to watch us, we're on West Washington Livestream on the IHSAA network. We've got lots of passes going on there. I know uh, Darren talked about the athletic passes. You can get passes to Livestream. Also, you can get a year-long pass. I believe it's $175, and that covers every event that we do all year long. Just to throw some numbers out there, we did 103 events last year. So at $175, that works out to about $1.10 an event. So if you watched them all, it would be $1.10. Um, we do offer um, different packages for a month. I believe it's $50. You can get everything we do for a whole month, um, or you can buy it by the game. They're $10 a game. So those of you who are interested in those, um, you know, just so you know, that money, some of that money comes back to the school. Some of it goes to the IHSA and different things. Um, but it's a great way to see those games if you are not able to be here in person. Looks like that last run there, Charlie Armstrong was in there for the tackle. Had a few more guys come in and help him out, fi help him finish that up at the end. Got two minutes left in this section of play. Rolls out for a pass here. 27's open. Looks like it's going to be Ooh, intercepted. It's going to be a nice pick there by 24. That is Isaiah, Isaiah Dennis. Dennis. Comes in, makes a nice snag there. It was funny. I'm fumbling through my papers, and I got it right in front of me, turned to the exact side that I needed it, <laughs> but I turned it three times before I was able to find it. So. we got a two-minute break here, so we're going to jump out, have a commercial break from Michael Long with American Family Insurance, and we'll be back in just a moment. 
As your American Family Insurance agent, Michael Long can offer you dependable auto, home, business, and life insurance, as well as other insurance products. He's big enough to serve and small enough to care. His team and their unique backgrounds, trainings, and experiences have prepared them well to help meet your insurance needs. Additionally, as residents of your community, they understand how important it is to be there for you. Together, they are building strong partnerships that help everyone succeed. When it comes to your car insurance, you deserve more than a card tucked in your glove box. That's why American Family Car Insurance goes beyond a piece of paper or an app to give you smart, customized coverage and real peace of mind. No matter how your life changes, you can feel comfortable you will have the right auto insurance protection and support every step of the way. Not sure how much or what type of coverage is right for you? Michael Long is the person to talk to. Back to live action here at Art Sanders Field, where this is going to be the junior varsity quarter of play, I believe. They get eight plays or eight minutes from the 35. Looks like North Harrison's got all of their junior varsity in as well. Here, Gent takes a pretty good hit right there at yeah. the line of scrimmage. Nice move there by Gent, though, to make somebody miss. We just want to make sure we don't get anybody hurt, which I'm sure is why they blew that one dead as soon as he, you know, as soon as somebody got close, he that play was blown dead. So Yeah, as you see over there on the line, Dennis Tankersley was over there moving the <laughs> moving the sign already. Yep. <laughs> He's like, I'm ready to go. Let's <laughs> let's move this down the field. <clears throat> Another handoff to the inside there. Yeah, I don't see who got that one. That's one of those, like we said earlier, you know, there's so many players going so many different directions. Not sure who it was that carried that. I believe it's number five, Charlie Armstrong. Coach Lowry out there giving him some advice from the distance there. And Coach Bowsen in behind him. That's that's some pretty good offensive minds right there. <laughs> yeah, between the two of them. And then you got Coach Burks also, who's who's the offensive coordinator. Um, you know, those three guys. If you're talking offense, you got a Hall of Famer. You got one of the best quarterbacks ever to come through West Washington, and then Coach Burks, who's been here forever. So, <laughs> for sure, for sure. So you've got some some pretty good offensive minds there. <clears throat> and it's funny. When Holden was coming through high school, it was more of a, a run and gun kind of slinging around offense. Um, you know, Coach Lowry runs that misdirection up the middle, gonna gonna pound it at you. So you know, kind of the best of both worlds there. Yeah, one of the one of the great things that they're able to to match up here is Holden actually played for Jeremy Lowry, so he kind of knows how this offense works and how it's supposed to work. Gent gonna direct traffic back behind him. That's Charlie Armstrong getting directions from Gent. Might have been a little bit of a false start there, but they're still going to play the game, play it all the way through. Yeah. These junior varsity players happy to be on the field on a Friday night. You know, a lot of times they they get maybe the last quarter of play or the last couple of minutes of play um, in the varsity game depending on how it's how it's going um, for the for the Senators. So it's nice for them to be able to get out and get some get some reps in here on a Friday. For sure. You'll also see several of them probably still playing some special teams as well. Beans, we're such a young group. You're going to find out that a lot of these kids are probably going to be a little more agile, a little bit quicker than some of our older guys and our bigger guys. So they're going to definitely still get some playing time on Friday nights. Yeah. Yeah. And the last couple of years, it's been hard for us to get uh, JV games. It looks like we've got, you know, a pretty solid JV crew out there. So if we can, if we can get some of those games in, that'll be nice. Oh, Whoa. bad pitch. Nice he falls on it. Nice recovery there by Tristan Sears. He's able to fall on it, but I think that was kind of a forward pitch. I don't <laughs> I don't know if that slipped I think out of that was throwing it over top of the line. Yeah, I don't know if that slipped out of his hand or he saw the blocker out there or, or what, but you know, pretty pretty nice uh nice pitch there. If it were backwards it would have been great, but since it was forward, probably not gonna work out. I don't know if they even call They may have called it a fumble. <laughs> Not really sure. Yeah. I don't think it, it ever crossed the line of scrimmage, so I think we're okay there. There's a pull and an option. Nice. Up the nice sideline. Nice pitch there. That goes ahead to number eight, Tristan Sears. 
gets that one and gets forward. We've got two plays left. I believe that's what I heard up here. So two plays, and then we can uh, we'll switch over to North Harrison being on offense. You know, looking at the North Harrison side and the, the JV side for us, it looks like we're pretty matched up for yeah. the most part. Size-wise, we, we match up way better JV versus JV than we do varsity versus varsity. So Must be something in the food that they're feeding them over there. <laughs> <laughs> it's another nice handoff up the middle to Charlie Armstrong. Breaks a couple of tackles, gets still spun going. around, still going. Finally Thanks. gets brought down right around the 25. Looks like about a 20-yard gain there almost. Yep, so we got one play left here. I believe that was our officials yelling in last play yeah. there. Yep, last play. So interested to see what they do here. You think it'll roll out and throw a pass on this one, or do you I don't think know. They'll, they'll go up the middle? I know if Holden gets to call this play, we're going to sling it around. Well, of course. <laughs> if Jeremy calls this play, we're going up the middle. Looks like Jeremy wins out. Another <laughs> another great handoff to Charlie Armstrong. Yeah, Charlie there. Armstrong still, still moving, still going. About, looks like he knocked about three or four runners. Yeah, off that's of him that's there. a ten yard gain there for Charlie. Nice nice run for him. Good way to finish off that offensive side for the JV. Yep. So now going to switch around. Going to be – oh, wait. I think we jump into the last one. Now they're bringing their, their offensive Nope, it's in. at the 35. Okay. Yeah. I'm just watching our players. It's a, it's a scrimmage. It's hard to know what's going on. So North Harrison going to get the ball here with their JV going to try to drive from the 35. See how they go. They get eight plays in eight minutes. Bring a number two back in. Looks like he played a little bit on the offensive side, so he, yeah. he's probably going to be playing a little bit of both ways for North Harrison. Yep, that's Dakota White, the freshman, 5'8", um, 170-pound freshman. That's a pretty, pretty solid freshman there. Senators come out. Everybody's looking at Coach Gibson. You know, one benefit I have to this, Craig, is I can tell just about every play that Coach Gibson's <laughs> calling down there, and I, I, <laughs> that, I can't really give it away. That doesn't really change much over the years, does it? Nope. Oh, we got a fumble there, and we've got Flag some offense moving. That one's – that one's bad to start with. North North Harrison going to be a false start and a fumble all in the same play. So definitely some miscommunication there on their half. Yeah, the the next seven plays <laughs> hopefully are better than that one. Those of you that don't know, also um, the youth league plays here at West Washington tomorrow. Um, I believe their games start at 9 a.m. and go until about 4 p.m. every hour. So if you're looking for something to do tomorrow, come on out, watch the watch the uh, elementary school uh, football games. And that's for all of the PLAC teams. You've got Paoli, you got Perry, um, Springs Valley, Crawford, us, Mitchell. Um, you know, they'll, every team plays here this first, um, you know, Saturday of the season. So. Looks like North Harrison had another false start there on that one. Not going too well for him to <laughs> kick off this first ten plays here. Nope, nope. Senators going a four base. So that's a 4-3. They've got four down linemen, three linebackers, and then four in the secondary. Looks like Andrew Chastain going to be one of those safety valves back there along with Ira Suvac. Twenty-four, Isaiah Dennis on one quarter on one corner and Braden Leap on the other.
just seems weird to look that way and not see the scoreboard. On. I know. That's, I've, that's I've, I've looked been looking over at there, it all night long. I've looked over there probably five or six times, you know, looking for what for information. And you don't realize how much you rely on it until it's not there, not working. So For sure. I will say, though, our, our, our JV group here on the front line, they've been getting a pretty good push. There goes another flag. Yep, going to be a delay of game on this one. So we've got three. <laughs> Three plays, and they haven't got one off without a penalty yet. So, Coach Deaton down there scratching his head, um, you know, wondering <laughs> what's going on on the other side. The same thing Coach Mark Williamson's doing over there. Both of them scratching their head. What in the world's going on? Looks like our offensive coordinator is down there as well. Looks like they must have come down off the top of the press box. Yeah, yeah, we saw. We, uh, I don't, th I don't know that there's anybody left up there at the moment. Him and Jeremy Lowry down there having a discussion, maybe talking over some stuff that was going on earlier. Yeah. Yeah, you know, and this is a, a very experienced group of coaches. You know, you got Jeremy Lowry, um, both Burks. Um, Patrick and Andrew Burks both have been here uh, a long time. Matthew Deaton. Um, Looks like we also got another uh, really good uh, D-line coach down there, Caleb Murphy. Yeah, I know Caleb, he went Caleb Murphy. For, IU for a couple years. Yep, Caleb Murphy is now on the on the coaching staff also. So, you know, you've got you've got some some good experience, and we haven't even gotten to to Dwayne Nance or Holden Bowsman yet. So, I mean, that's that's. You've got some a lot of guys with a lot of football under their belt. Another big run. Yeah, by there's a there. there's a big hole over there Push for the down. freshman. Pushes down Gent, breaks through that secondary, and ends up being brought down by one of their free safeties there. Yep, that's Dakota White. Like we said, you know the 170 pound freshman just kind of lowers his head and runs people over. Not the kind that's going to make you miss a whole lot, just going to run you over. Quick to the ball here. It looks like they're going to run a quick play, hopefully try to catch the defense on their heels. QB sneak up the middle here. <laughs> Ten wasn't even set yet. Yeah. <laughs> He's still looking at the official who was four yards in front of him. like we're subbing in Isaiah Webb here. Yep. Jackson Whitlow coming out. Along with 24, Isaiah Dennis going to check out. Did you see another one go in, Craig? Because i only seen one. <laughs> <laughs> well, four, three, four. We've got enough Stuff out there. Four. We may not have had enough out there the last play. <laughs> <laughs> like we said, it's a it's a – learning process for everybody you know the broadcast making sure everything works making sure all the players know when they're supposed to be in and out another handoff down the middle but he stopped right at the line yeah Doesn't get very far there. Looks like that was number 63 on that. Yep. It says fourth down. Logan Powers on that stop. Play eight of eight, so they'll be done after this one. Even if they do get in, we still stop. Or if they don't get in, we stop. So. Another handoff. Oh. I think number two, he's met at the line. By 76, that's Isaiah Webb. So we're going to get four minutes on the clock for a break. We're going to step aside, have a commercial break. We'll be back with um, live action here at Art Sanders Field in just a moment. If you talk and they will hear you. We all want our kids to grow up safe and healthy. So we show them how. And we tell them with honest conversations that let them know what we expect. 
Not just one time, but every chance we get. That's especially important when it comes to alcohol and other drugs. Kids not only need to know the dangers and how to avoid them, they need to hear it often from you. And when it comes to pain medications, opioids, they need to know that they should never be taken without a prescription and never shared with friends or family. It's dangerous and illegal. So talk with your kids and guide them through the challenges of growing up safe and healthy. Because when you talk, they hear you. For more information about talking with your kids about underage use of alcohol and other drugs, visit underagedrinking.samhsa.gov. So talk, they hear you. You can do it if you try. <laughs> sure. Are you looking for a great HVAC person that's also local? Somebody who's from here in Southern Indiana? Then look no further than Mike Music and Music Mechanical Services, located in Paoli, Indiana. They offer a wide variety of services, including not only maintenance, but repairs on all of your heat and cooling needs. Got an ice maker on the fritz? They can help you with that. How about a commercial chiller or freezer? They've got your back. Is your boiler on the fritz? They can help you with that too. They even work on outdoor furnaces. Best of all, they're located right here in Paley, Indiana. Give Mike a call at 812-498-1736. Don't worry, Mike Music knows every aspect of the HVAC maintenance inside and out. Mike is a problem solver and can get all your equipment up and running like new. Whether it's summer or winter, then Mike is your guy. Music Mechanical Services, HVAC done right, Paley, Indiana. 812-498-1736. Back to live action here at Art Sanders Field. We're in the last um, section. This is lard, yard line of choice. Nice big run there by Charlie. And you get eight plays, eight minutes. This is the reserves once again. I believe this is still our JV group out here. Yeah, yeah, this uh, is all reserves, so. I will say, though, that it looks like North Harrison brought a couple different fresh linemen in here. Might outmatch some of our guys just a little bit. Yeah, looks like we got some big guys from North Harrison coming in. So, Jim nice pulls that one down. Steps out of the way there. Looks like he still gets the first down and about one more over that. Yeah, it's about a pickup of five. Yeah, Jim gets spun down there. So Senator's, <clears throat> Senator's going to keep plugging away here. We see Coach Bowsman giving Gent the, the offensive call. They, Gent comes up. He's under center. We've got Charlie Armstrong in the backfield along with number 20. There's another pitch. A little low, low there, but there's still room to run. Looks like he's got a blocker out front. Looks like he's going to be brought down in about the five. Yeah, that's Tristan Sears. Nice run by him. He gets tackled up high but is able to get, uh, looks like about 14 on that one. Nice run there by Tristan. He's had a couple of good runs tonight. Like I said earlier, this young group that I've been watching them play ever since they were little, they play well together. They know kind of what everybody's thinking at the same time, what they're going to do. Yeah. Tankersley back under center on this one. Goes forward, Hard gives snap it there. Right to the middle. Charlie Armstrong. He's not able to gain a whole lot there, maybe a yard. Hard-fought yard there for him. Going to be second down. I believe this is play five. That's one thing that's not too traditional from the, the previous Philip Bowsman as a coach there. You, you get to see the huddle and they all break apart and it's, it's a little bit more fast pace of a game. Yeah. Well, Looks like we've got an offside we penalty got, there we on We got us. movement on everybody. I don't know who you call that one on, but there's probably four or five people you could have could have called the uh, false start on there. So 
Going to back that one up. We went from the one to the six. Getting the call in. Looks like we're going to bring our wide receivers in a little tighter on this one. Charlie Armstrong still in the backfield. Comes the pitch. Oh, he drops it. That one's met with that one. I believe that's Leap who they pitched it to. Yeah, Braden Lee. Yep. Pitch was, was pretty good, hit him in the hands, and then he wasn't able to hold on to it and dropped it. So going to be third and goal here. Senators were all the way up at the one. Now they're pushed out to about the 12. Handed off to Armstrong. Armstrong fighting to get some yards. He gets about three. About three. Moves it inside the 10. Going to be fourth down here for the Senators. Senators come out, leap, talking to uh, Tristan Sears. Going to be a back pass. pass. Tankersley passes it Good out to leap. 20. Leap going to get in. There's a flag with a block in the back. <laughs> I believe that's 18. Brandon, Brandon Alt going to pick up that block in the back. That's some of the little kinks that we're talking about we have to work out before week one. We can't be – can't be taking those little cheap shots, even if they are something that's going to change the outcome of the play. Yeah. I thought that was play eight. Maybe I'm wrong. So that's a 15-yard penalty. I think they got him for clipping. So that's going to come all the way out 10 yards from where it happened, which was – Apparently on the two, so it comes all the way out to the 12. Going to replay fourth down. Look to see another pass here as well, Craig. Means we're pushed back and we're out here on the right hand, right hash mark. Left side of the field is pretty open here. Gent getting the call in. Yep, comes back into the huddle, calls it. Huddle breaks. This will be the last plays we've just, just heard. And there's a fumble yep. covered by the Cougars. So we got a nice block there all the way down the field, but never got the ball. So the Senator's going to flip around. They get to play defense now. Eight plays from the, from the uh, JV offense for North Harrison with the um, Senator's going to play defense so see kind of how that works out for them they've the, I, I like the JV offense the JV offense has been able to move the ball a little bit and yeah, they got a lot of a lot of ways to go but I think in the in about the next three years you're going to see a pretty strong offense there especially having all four years of, of Jeremy Lowry knowing kind of how they get to learn what they're going to be doing Senators come out. We don't see a whole lot of substitution here on the JV side. Um, you know, a lot of the same guys that played offense are now on the defensive side. So, not a whole lot of subbing there. They're going to come out and start. I believe it looks like they're going to start. Well, they get to choose where they're going to start. I th think, yeah, yard line of choice. So, the Cougars want to start at the... 35. Looks to me like they're going to set up in their traditional eye formation here. Yeah, and remember that Dakota White, the first time they had the ball, was able to run it kind of right down the, the Senator's throat. So 
We'll see if Coach Gibson has an adjustment for that. Hand it off to him again. Yep, that's White with a nice hole over there. Nice spin move. Bring him down after a gain of about 13. Got to move the chains. Play number two for North Harrison. White finally able to stop him a little bit. Gains four on that one. First two times he touched it, he gained 12 each time. So holding to only four is a, a nice improvement for the Senators. Looks like a lot of these kids are getting tired out here, Craig. I think this is their first full week back to school, so congratulations to them for getting that finished out and being able to still play on Friday night. <laughs> That's true. It is their first full week back to school. So last Friday when they had the uh, soap and towel game, you know, they'd only been in school three days. So this is a full week, full full contact, full practice. Um, Dakota White able to still keep running. Still brought him down right before the goal line. Yep, down to about the one. Uh, we're going to say that's the two. <coughs> kind of hard to pick it up at an angle from up here. We ain't got very fresh lines either here. Yeah, I'm sure they'll be uh, darkened in before tomorrow or before next week's game. So, hopefully, we have a scoreboard by next week's game. Yeah, that well. too. That too. <laughs> Twenty-one able to lower his head and so he head in. in there. It's a nice job by Charles White. Don't know if that's any relation to Dakota or not, but um, nice run there by him. Going to come back. I believe they've got five plays left or four plays left. Going to start from the 35. Got some Cougars with their hands on their knees out there. Looks like they're getting a little bit tired. <laughs> just a touch, just a touch. It's good to see this JV group. They're still standing up pretty tall. off there. Got jammed up a little bit at the line. Going to bring him down. Nice job there by the Senators. Kind of a gang tackle is where it ends up. That started off the Senators were held him up in the backfield, but then he's able to get about four before two more Senators come and bring him down. Like we said, first game for both of these teams is next Friday night. The Senators uh, host Eastern here for a county uh, matchup. Kind of interesting. The Senators start off with a county game with Eastern and then end with a county game of Salem. So, um, you know, those two games played. Uh, Eastern will be here. S the Salem game is the final week of the regular season. It will be played at Salem. North Harrison starts off with a Mid-Southern Conference game at Salem. So, Going to be the last play for the Cougars here, I believe, is what I just heard. So, still getting to be a little slow getting to the line here. Yeah. There's a pitch. Nice. Brought uh, down before he gets tackle the first out down. there. That's 18 for the Senators. That's Brandon Alt. Nice tackle out there for him. Uh, 
Yep, we were off by one. This is the last play. <laughs> I just heard he changed it, so I'm going to go with I was right the first time. So North Harrison comes out in their power eye. We get it set under center. It's another pitch out wide. See if they're going to stop him again in the backfield here. Makes a nice cut there. Ends up with another gang tackle. Yep. Four four senators there to, to uh, make that tackle. So with that, that's going to wrap up the uh, scrimmage. Both teams heading to the 50-yard line to shake hands. Great job by both teams. Uh, looks like everybody's coming out healthy, going to be able to go into week one with, with uh, all their players. So with that, Hunter, going to give you the, the final thoughts. What do you think? Looks pretty good. Uh, got a lot to a lot to improve over the next week or so. Uh, looks like they're going to have a, a lot of stuff as far as just make sure we get set on the ball right and we're not jumping off the ball. We just execute a little bit tighter as far as our fundamentals. Um, looks like Lowry's got them all pretty executing decent, pretty decent on the the offensive half of it. I think a lot of that's just going to be a little bit of footwork on the line side and knowing how to get off the ball a little quicker. That way we can beat some of these teams that are going to be a little bit bigger in size like this Cougar team is. I know that one of the things that I was seeing there as we were going on through the game there is a lot of our guys were undersized. So I think that a lot of this is going to be speed and agile. Uh, they're going to be able to definitely outrun and outperform. I know one of the big things that I was always taught when we were in school is – it's all about who has the most grit and most heart in this game. And I feel like these, this group of boys, they, they got a lot of heart. And I can see that based off of how they just – they look at their coaches and they look up to their teammates. They all work really well together. So I really hope that the first first few games here at home, I hope they come out and they, they really do and perform well and we get through all of it with no injuries. Well, with that, we're going to go ahead and sign off. Thank you guys for tuning in, watching. Once again, if you're looking for – um, the games, they're on the IHSA network under West Washington, along with uh, WWSR, so the radio side of that. You can buy packages for the live stream. You can buy packages to get into games. So there's no reason to miss any of the West Washington action um, that, you know, is going on. It's brought to you many different ways. So get out and support the Senators. With that, this is Craig Akers along with Hunter Holiday. We are signing off.